this is James Com, the guy on the bike. And today we're reporting from Rupert Raven's contemporary art and we're looking at German Petrie's contra disambiguation. Well, we're here in downtown Newark and we're looking at some work by German Petrie. This piece is titled Reichstag 9-11. And it's 96 by 120, so this is 8 by 10 feet. I have actually met German through Rupert Ravens a couple of years ago, and uh, I was very impressed with his paintings. And this is actually, for a debut show, is a pretty massive undertaking for him. These pieces, a lot of them are very large. We'll swing around the gallery here. As you can see, this is a huge gallery. This will give you an idea of the amount of work that he had to produce for this show. This is one gallery. I think there's about six of these that are this size. And if you were in Chelsea, you'd be lucky if you had one gallery this size. Definitely going to uh, see a different crowd here in Newark than you would if you were in Chelsea, which is actually pretty refreshing. Store marching band from Brooklyn. This is a huge piece. This is called Diablo Venture Capital and the Deconstruction of Free Will. It's 108 by 168 inches. I think that uh, this use of these plush animals and things really add a jolt of synthetic polyester color into his almost tar-like grounds. This particular piece is synthetic fur. Kind of a layer of acrylic paint on there. It's kind of like pomade. Almost looks like tar. Just little clumps of stuffed animals on the corner. Kind of a nice coloristic element there. This is Introduction to Authority. This is one of the older pieces in the show. 1987. And this one is Warhead American Democracy Through the Barrel of a Gun. I think German shares a uh, sensibility with artists like Ed Kineholtz and late Bruce Connor. There's a certain kind of uh, disquieting, almost disgusting rawness and aggressiveness of the surface. There's a uh, floor installation here. Stuffing's coming out of these guys, that's great. This piece is titled Common Sense. Verdict non-stop, unaccustomed as we are. This is one of his newest pieces here. It's 2008. It's great, we got little kitty 
slippers. And I actually like uh, the way that these stuffed animals are maybe a little less coated in the paint. They really lets the colors pop. It's almost like all these little critters just crawled out of an oil slick. And now we're talking to the artist, German Petri. I was amazed uh, at the amount of work you have. Now this is your debut show here at Rupert Ravens. Why don't you tell us about how you got all this work together for this? This is quite a uh, quite a bit of uh, painting going on there. Yeah. Um, well, it's, I've been working on some of these paintings for the last, say, what? 15, 20 years. I think I saw one that was 87. Exactly, exactly. But then, you know, what I do is, um, I th sometimes I'm working, I think I finished it. Oh, thank you. Um, I think I'm finished, I put the date on, then it ends up like a year or two later, I start working on it again. Pull it so out and start working on it again. Now, th exactly. is this all acrylic paint that you're working with? Or? Yes, acrylics and like, what you're seeing is fun fur, and what I do is take the innards of the plush toys or stuffed animals and I then use them as well. I recycle them. Where do you get all these uh, the plush toys, the stuffed animals? I, uh, second hand store. I get them. Usually I prefer that they be second hand. I want the energy right, of the, the material. Kind of the extra human element in there. Exactly, exactly. And so, I, w I was also noticing that some of the uh, more recent paintings that uh, you're actually sort of letting more of the color of the, the animals come through. You're not sort of exactly. coating them all with the black paint and uh, it's, it's actually allowing you to have a more of a wider palette with what you're working with there and I'm really enjoying it. How about the works on paper? I thought those were kind of interesting as well. You were doing those with paper pulp? Yes, yes. Um, I had a fellowship at Rutgers in New Brunswick in New Jersey and I had to do 31 pieces. So that was part of, it was like a competition. So I had won the competition and for about a month I would work you know, go to the uh, university and uh, work on those pieces. And you'd never done work with paper pulp before that? No, not at all. Seems to uh, fit in really well with uh, kind of your sensibility and things like that. Uh, I like it. If you were to look at uh, people that have influenced you in your career and uh, people that you sort of think about when you're painting, were you, anybody you'd like to mention that you think are kind of important and interesting for you? Yeah, um, uh, there's certain uh, tribes or groups in Africa like secret society and what they would do is carve like these like um, objects they would be certain kind of animals and they start to put beer and um, grass and all of these objects on top until eventually you don't know what it is is it a you know turns into something exactly. else exactly and um, then there's kefir there's um, debuffet um, Picasso Moreau um, Rembrandt you know, that's one of my All favorite. the painters go back to him, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the show looks fabulous. Now you can get some rest. <laughs> that's true. Congratu congratulations, German. Thank you. It truly really is a fabulous show. Thank you. Thank Good luck. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think that uh, German may be establishing a whole new uh, kind of vortex of interest here in, in Newark. I think that uh, he is one of the few pa painters that is working on this kind of scale these days. And uh, when you think of Newark, you may not think of a thriving art community because it's kind of overshadowed by New York. But uh, I think it's good that they've got people here sort of going in their own direction and uh, sort of digging into what it means to be a, an artist in Newark, a serious artist. This is James Calm reporting on the German Petri Show here at Rupert Raven's Contemporary, 85 Market Street, here in downtown Newark. Thanks, Kate.